All right, guys, welcome back to What If Frieza Was a Good Guy. We last left off. Frieza fought King Piccolo and won, and Kakarot left with Majin Buu to become stronger and to change his DNA. Let's get it started. We cut to Beerus. Beerus will be having dreams. Dreams of a golden warrior and a super saiyan god and even a weird Majin warrior. His dreams were crazy, but he had a great time. Forever, Beerus has never had an opponent to challenge him. Beerus has always been bored, being the strongest in his universe. But these dreams fueled him, and these dreams made him feel alive. It made him feel excited. It made Beerus actually want to get up, actually want to do something. But as he woke up, Beerus looked around, upset that it was just a dream. He would try to think of what the dream was, but he couldn't do it. So he decided to ask Whis. How is Frieza? Last time I visited him, he was trying to be a, pretend to be a villain, but I could see through that act. Well, he's taken over the whole universe and turned into a utopia. He's given more rights to people and beasts to go on and on. Beers would say good for him. I always knew that guy had a soft heart, and he never really got in my way, so there's really no need to destroy him. I am worried, though, his soft heart will affect my job, but hey, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yes, and he achieved a form beyond his final form. Beerus would look up and say his final form is just his normal form. The other forms are forms of suppression. He's actually got a form that makes him stronger. Whis would say yes, yes he does. Interesting. Maybe I should pay this Frieza a visit. But right before Beerus traveled there, Beerus had a realization that Frieza was the golden warrior. He had to be. He remembered his golden skin. He remembered his skin turning red for a slight second while they fought. This had to be Frieza. The prophecy was real. Beerus would travel to Frieza. We cut to Kakarot. Kakarot had set up a, a crime organization on the edge of the universe, making money and disrupting Frieza from the inside, and is in plan in the long run to try to destroy its empire piece by piece. Cooler was destroyed because he was too impatient. King Piccolo was destroyed because he was outsmarted. He needed to make sure everything went right, and Kakarot managed to set up a crew of scientists who made his DNA Majin. Messing with Majin Buu and his DNA, he became Majin. He was no longer a Saiyan. As Kakarot was training with Majin Buu in the time chamber, he went out and he felt his power massively grow. He realized it. If he can get strong enough, he can contest Frieza. This was what he wanted. His power was already so close to Frieza, and he was already a better martial artist, but he needed to make sure that things went right. However, suddenly he would sense something. Since Majin Buu had God Key within him, he would learn how to sense it. This shocked Kakarot. This power was so amazing, he would tremble in fear, not knowing what it was. Kakarot would decide to send a spy drone to see what was going on. As this was going on, Beerus would meet Frieza. As Beerus and Frieza began to meet each other, Frieza would look at him and say, Oh, Beerus, it's been so long. Why are you up? Are you here to destroy anything? I know I can't do anything to stop you, but I would be greatly upset if you did. Beerus would laugh and say, I bet you would. Nah, I mean, I might, since it, since it is my job and all. But I didn't come here for that specifically. I came here to fight a golden warrior. I had dreams of a golden warrior and a super saiyan god. And you are what I need. Frieza would then look up at him and go, Well, I don't know what a super saiyan god is, but I do know about my golden form. And considering that you know about it, you have either have watched me this whole time. Or Beerus would say, Don't flatter yourself. I can just have dreams of the future. I didn't watch you at all. You're not that entertaining or special. Just get on with it. Frieza would turn into his golden form as Beerus would smirk. Now that's impressive. I didn't think a mortal could achieve this without God Key. Frieza would say, God Key, don't worry about it. However, there's still one thing you need to know about this fight. If you don't entertain me, it will be your last. As he punches Frieza up into the sky and Frieza begins to punch him. And Beerus is having a good time, but since Frieza used his golden form before, he doesn't, he doesn't need to teach him how to use it. 
and Frieza has used the form so many times he doesn't worry, have to worry about running out of stamina. This was an all out battle as they both battled each other. Vegeta and the rest watched. Vegeta remembered Beerus. He remembered him as a god of destruction, of being a pure fear, of being a pure terrifying power. However, Vegeta really had a family now with Bulma and didn't really have time for this stuff. True, he would train and get stronger all the time, but as long as Beerus wasn't threatening everyone, to be honest, he didn't really care. Vegeta just went back to training and ignored Beerus. As all this was going on, Kakarot would still be watching this. He wouldn't watch per se, but he would feel it with his energy. The biggest clash he ever felt in the world. He didn't think Frieza could be so powerful, but he was. And someone was even stronger, Beerus. Kakarot could do nothing but shake as he felt this power throughout the universe. He felt the shockwaves tremble through the universe. As we cut back to Beerus and Frieza, Beerus would say not bad, but let's take it up a notch. Suddenly Beerus would charge a massive energy ball and throw it right towards his capital plan and say, get rid of it. Frieza would, would fly in front of the way and grab it, but he couldn't do anything. Suddenly he would say, Kaioken times three and punch it into the sun as he began to pant. Beerus would say, interesting, you could boost your power temporarily, but it looks like it has a massive stamina drawback. Hmm. What do you call this, the Kaioken? Have you trained under King Kai? Frieza would nod and say, well, that's fascinating. He only lets pure heart people train under him. And you must have been dead before. <laughs> you really are something else, Frieza. Frieza would say, thank you. I hope you don't destroy everything once you don't get your way, when I'm not strong enough for you. Beerus would say, you are strong enough, stop doubting, and ruins the fight, as Beerus would punch Frieza back down, but then Frieza would punch him, punch after punch, blow after blow, shockwaves would be sent throughout the entire universe. Beerus was enjoying himself, but he decided it was time to end it. So, he decided to shoot a massive Akai blast straight at Frieza. Frieza saw this and went Kaioken times 10, and pushed it away. But this used a lot of stamina as he began to breathe heavily. He knew that this was almost over. Frieza decided to pull out an Emperor Death Beam, shooting Key Blast or Key Blast, Death Beam after Death Beam. All of them hit Beerus, but it did nothing. Beerus would say, You're a great fighter, Frieza. I had a great time with you. Now stay down, as he would flick him down to the planet. Beerus would then land and say, Not too bad. I got an idea. Who wants to go train with me to get God Key? Frieza, you're first up. Frieza would say, no, I gotta stay here to take care of my empire, but I will train and keep getting stronger. Vegeta and Nappa would both agree, even Raditz. Vegeta had a family now, and Nappa was an old man, but he could use the Dragon Balls to wish for eternal youth, and he could keep training. After all, it's not over until you give up. However, Kakarot would be listening to all this from his drone being intrigued suddenly Beerus would look up at the drone and fly towards it I don't like interferers then he would destroy it Kakarot was shocked Beerus knew he was watching him the whole time Kakarot then felt an anger course through his body he trained his entire life he gave up his Saiyan race his Saiyan heritage he gave up everything just to become strong enough to defeat Frieza now there's a god of destruction he has to contend with. He doesn't care. This Majin form, this Majin body will push him. And he'll find a way to defeat him, no matter what it takes. Kakarot would look at Majin Buu. Buu, Buu would say, what is it? It's time we get stronger. We're going in that time chamber. I don't take care how many years we're in there. I am not going to leave until I'm strong enough to defeat all of them. Majin Buu would nod as they would both go into the time chamber and begin to train to begin to become stronger, better, faster, and greater than they ever were before. And as they continued to train tirelessly, we cut to Vegeta, Nappa, and Raditz, all training on Beerus' planet. Beerus would smile and watch, but as he watched, he would begin to yawn. Beerus would decide to take a nap for a couple weeks, only a short one, because he wanted to see their progress. Beerus was honestly excited to see pupil like this, to see people grow. He was excited for the future, for the first time in forever. Though Beerus slept, usually Beerus slept out of boredom, but this time he just slept out of excitement. He was so excited for the future, he was so excited for the people to fight, and he was so excited for the people around him. Little did he know that Kakarot was alive, and Kakarot was training to defeat him. He knew he was watching him, but he didn't know how determined he truly was. 
and soon after he fell asleep. A couple weeks would turn by as Chompa would show up for a tournament. And that's where I'll leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know anything of the videos down below and how are you doing. Tell me how you're doing down in the comments below. Peace out. Love you all.